So we have just encountered our first relationship between average and uh, marginal. Now this is a recurring concept that will occur many, many, many times in economics. And there are some general rules that we can explore. There are only three of them. So let's use an example. So imagine there's, there's a room. Imagine there's a room with 10 people in it and that the average age of the people is 20. You're smart and you know that if the average age is 20, it doesn't mean that everyone is 20 years old. Some might be 30, some might be 40, and some might be 10, but the average is 20. And now if a 20-year-old enters a room, making the room 11 people, this will not affect the average age. Of course, the total age increases, but the average age does not change because the new guy entering has the same average age. So in this case, the marginal age is 20, but the average age does not change because the marginal rate age is equal to the average age. So now the room is 11 people. Great. Now if a 56-year-old no, old man, well, 56-year-old man walks into the room, however, the average age will increase. Not 256, but the 23. Why? Because you add everyone's ages up, which is um, 20 times 11 plus 56. And then you divide that by the total number of people in the room, which is 12, you get 23 years old. Now, if then, if not, uh, 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 instead of the 56-year-old guy, a child of 10 years old walks into the room, this will actually pull the average down. So from these, we can actually deduce the rules. If the marginal equals to the average, the 20-year-old guy will pull the average down. If the additional one that you add is above the average, it will drag the average up. Now, if the additional one, the marginal, is below the average, the average will fall. Think about this for a while. Uh, and think about this every day, at least for five days. You'll get the hang of it.